Hello and welcome to Reality News Roundup. Here are the top stories of the week. The Haryana Urban Development Authority plans to develop 11 new sectors in Gurgaon Division. But in the absence of land in main Gurgaon city, the sectors will be developed in Devadi, Bhivani, Hisar, Kurukshetra and Sonipat. The authority aims to raise Rs 6,000 crore by selling plots in these sectors. The new policy by Department of Town and Country Planning, which curbs the unauthorized retention of investors' money by developers in the name of registration charges, comes as a relief for home buyers in Gurgaon. Under the new policy, the developers will have to execute conveyance deed within 15 days of receiving the registration fee from home buyers. Under the revised building bylaws for the national capital, real estate and construction projects in Delhi will not get government approval within 30 days through an integrated online single window approval process. The new bylaws also integrate environmental clearances with building sanctioning process, reduce the number of documents for building permits and completion and occupancy certificates for green buildings. The Ministry of Environment has come out with the construction and demolition waste management rules. Under the new rules, dumping of waste on roadside and in drains will be strictly prohibited and the local bodies will have to reuse 10-20% to 20 of the waste in municipal and government contracts. This move is aimed to reduce dust which contributes nearly 20... The move is aimed to reduce dust which contributes nearly 20% to pollution in key metro cities of the country. Now some good news if you're planning to buy a loan. Short-term working capital loans have become cheaper as banks will now adopt the marginal cost of funds-based lending rate from today. The new framework requires banks to set rates based on their marginal cost of funds rather than their average cost of funds and was introduced to improve the transmission of cuts in policy rates for the end borrowers. State Bank of India, HDFC Bank and Bank of Baroda have already detailed their MCLR benchmarks for various loan maturities. Thank you for watching. For latest updates, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Instagram.